Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to use the new slash dialogue commands in Minecraft. So, basically, slash dialogue command is a uh, very simple command. It might look very complicated because you guys haven't seen it yet. But I've spent uh, about three hours getting this research done for you guys, so make sure you guys know what to do. So basically... Slash dialogue command uh, basically runs off of education mode, so you need the NPC. So we gotta summon the NPC. So there we go. We have an NPC right here. This is a very cool guy. We can do a lot of stuff with that. So we basically we can add some text. So we're gonna be making, um, let's say, uh, a GUI in this video. So basically, I'll be able to do um, server GUI. Um, really cool click buttons below. All right, so now we have that, so we can change here whatever we want. So let's go like that, okay. And we open up the advanced NPC settings, this is the um, stuff where everything works. So we have three different types we can do button mode, we can do on enter, and on exit. So, what we're gonna want to do is button mode basically be able to run a command so let's do um slash tp add as zero zero four zero so this will just be a spawn thing so name this spawn and now if we do slash uh dialogue yes dialogue open npc no, ie type oops, npc radius of five count equals one and then to myself. Oh, we gotta be in survival. So now we're in survival. Boom. Server. GUI looks really cool. Click buttons below. Yes. So um this thing right here, how this is not how it normally looks. Um I'll leave the download for this in the below. Uh it was actually made by um let me find them real quick. One second. NPC form UI. Okay. Yeah, so this was made um, by Sarah's. Really cool. Uh, he just made a little bit of some uh, UI system. I'll leave I'll leave the download for that in the below. Um, so all you gotta do, server GUI looks really cool. Yeah, so now if we press spawn, oh, but it TPs the NPC. But we don't want that. What we have to do, so let's go back to our NPC, wherever he went. Yeah, it's over here. Um, so yeah, we don't want that. See how it says at S? See, at S is selecting the NPC. So we need to do at E, um, no, at P. Okay, so this is, this at P right now is sort of multiplayer friendly, but it's not the best. Um, but this at P will work for it right now. So if we go to game with S, um, and then... We do just I look open. Boom. Now it should TP me to spawn and not my NPC. There we go. Works perfectly. Y'all look behind them. Yeah. Alright. So now we just made a spawn button. Very simply. Alright. So you might be wondering, um, what is this scene name? So scene name is a very complicated thing. So basically it's just um simply a json file that does exactly what we did earlier where it says this text in here and this stuff in here if you play on xbox don't worry about it but if you're into um adult development or anything cool like that i'll leave it i'll leave a download uh we guys can download just a custom template um for whatever you guys need so it'll be template you can look at that and figure out any guis or anything you want to do with this so now um let's say we want to make it where on enter um yeah so on enter we're gonna tag um at p so this is gonna be a person who activated it uh tag at p add add in gui so now it's telling people that they're in the gui so now if we go up here spawn command we're now able to perfectly select who activated the gui so 
So we can do tag equals in GUI and then count equals one and radius. Yeah, so that's all we need. And that will, uh, yeah, so now this is actually selecting the actual person. So we want to open this again. Now I got the tag. Oh, we want to go to game on us. Now I should have the tag. And now TP's me to spawn. That's going to how you be able to do multiplayer friendly stuff with this. So there's another part of the command called change. So basically change is just changing the NPC, um, selecting that guy to a C name. And then it's going to open it up for me. This is how you could do sub menus and tons of other menus. And that will look really, really cool. Um, but that's a part of the C name thing. Don't worry about that if you're on Xbox or PS4, because um, you will need a computer to edit these JSONs. I think mobile mobile can do that stuff. Um, but yeah, make sure just don't look at that, because I don't think you guys can edit that, to be honest. Um, but this is what I've made. I made this little system right here. So I'll be able to click to open, and this is server GUI, and all these cool things. So I'll do warp spawn, uh, TV me right to spawn. I can open this up anywhere in the world. Uh, any of these buttons work. I only made warp spawn work right now, and then we got close GUI um, But I can do the rest of them easily So that's just summoning an NPC and then making myself open it very simple um, And then so I'm gonna show you guys how to do like say if we want to open a thing when you get close so uh, give at us command block and We are going to slash Let's get our command from earlier Dialog open. Okay. And we're going to open type equals NPC. DY equals 10. Okay. And that's going to open any NPC um, above 10 blocks up. And it's going to open it up to the nearest player in a radius of 10. So this basically, if you walk in a radius, actually let's do 5. If you walk in a radius of 5, it's just going to open up that NPC GUI automatically. So, let's close that. Make sure that's repeat always active. Oh. 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 Well, we're probably going to do a little bit more stuff with that so it doesn't do that. Ah! Ah! No! Okay, we got to turn command blocks off. I ruined myself. Uh, game rule, command block, sensible. Okay, let's, uh, sensible. Oh, yeah, it does not. Command block, sensible. Oh, boss. Okay, command block effect does not. So we're only going to tag. Uh, dialog open. Yes, uh, raise P. Tag equals um, tag equals tag does not equal close. This is gonna open up anyone who does not equal close. So now, if we want to do a command on exit, it will then slash tag um, at p add close. Okay. So now we can make command block sensible is true. It's gonna open it up for me, but if I close this, oh, I gotta be in survival. Ah, oh. this is a <laughs> okay. So we're going to want to do tag to not equal close. Yeah. So if they get closed, that means they are not going to have the tag. So yeah. So on exit, they're going to add the tag close. And tag at P, tag to not equal close. There you go. That's what you're going to want to do. So that makes, means when I get close to this thing, it's going to open up a GUI as long as I didn't close it before. So, and we can do uh, multiple time open up GUIs, but that's just... You're going to want to be able to TP someone uh, somewhere else, or it's just going to constantly open it. 
Um, but we can we can just do that right now. So if we go to game mode S, and then true, and there we go. So now pressing this, and I should have you got to be two feet away from it, and boom. And that's just when you get close to it. Oh, it's not there. Where's my NPC? All right, cause I close it. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.